Hello my beautiful flowers, welcome and are welcome back for another video. I am Blooming Budgets and on this channel we use the cash envelope method to budget, go our wealth, and work to become debt free. So in today's video I am DIYing my 100 envelope challenge. I asked you guys in one of my very first videos um, for a suggestion on a challenge that I could do and someone suggested the 100 envelope challenge. Now I've seen quite a few people do this and everyone sort of has a different way of setting up and this is just the way I chose to do it. I was so excited to get started I couldn't even wait to get my printer working to print off a list of the numbers 1 through 100. So to get started with this I went down to the Dollar Tree the other day and I only had to spend like three and a half dollars on all of this because I just needed the envelopes so I got two packs of 80 and I got, if you saw on screen there just a little bit ago, my little bit of Tupperware to keep my envelopes in. So if you don't know already, the whole idea of the 100 envelope challenge is to every week or every paycheck or just as often as you can pick out an envelope that has a number on it. The number could be one is 1 through 100 and you stuff that amount in that envelope. So for me, the way I'll be doing this is I have written on this little piece of paper here that I'm currently fitting into the Tupperware to make sure it actually will fit inside so I can keep it neat and tidy when I'm not filling envelopes. The way I'm gonna be doing it is I will just see how much I have left over after every paycheck, um, after I have stuffed my cash envelopes and after I've stuffed my sinking funds and whatever amount is left over, I will stuff a, one of my 100 envelopes accordingly. So that's kind of the idea behind this, is that you just do what you can and when you can. So for me, I only really ever ha will have enough to do maybe two or three envelopes a month, maybe four. Um, so this is gonna really gonna be a long challenge. And I think that's good. I mean, you need those challenges that are a little bit longer, um, but I think I'll need some way to keep me motivated throughout this. Sorry, you can see my head a little bit. Um, and so I'll probably do mini challenges in between this, but for now, this is my long-term savings challenge. So at the end of, you know, filling these 100 envelopes, you're going to have $5,050. Now, what I'm going to do with this $5,050, I do not have a clue. Um, hopefully it's around the time my husband and I are buying a house. It'd be great if that could go towards the house, but I just have a feeling that this is going to take longer than a year. Um, I also had this idea that I really don't want to unstuff the envelopes. Um, I know I see quite a few um, people who I watch do this challenge. They also take their um, cash out of the envelopes every once in a while and um, switch it out for like 1k slips or like just larger denominations, but I just want to keep it a surprise. Um, I just kind of want to one day look at my sheet and be like, oh my gosh, all of my boxes are checked. <laughs> Um, so as you see I'm doing now, I'm labeling each of the envelopes with a number and at the end of this you will see that I'm actually, I have one envelope left over and I have no idea where that envelope came from. So if you see any mistakes, please let me know if I missed a number because um, it is very, very likely that I did. <laughs> and so then uh, up in the corner or at the, at the top rather, you will see I have labeled that sheet with numbers 1 through 100. I tried doing a sheet earlier um, or earlier that day and where I made the boxes and then I would put the numbers inside of it, but I just didn't have enough space on the sheet. Um, so that's just how I did it. It is not perfect, but it works. So like I said, I'm really excited to start this challenge and the money that I will be using to start the challenge is I'm not going to start off with just nothing and start up my next sinking funds stuffing. I'm actually going to use this miscellaneous savings envelope that I've had for a while now. Um, I've had a really bad habit of pulling out of this miscellaneous savings envelope and I kind of want to put an end to that. So uh, the amount of money that I have in that envelope, which you'll see here in just a little bit after I'm done labeling these, is I have $199 and I am able to stuff five envelopes. So 
really, I guess I should call this like the 95 envelope challenge. <laughs> but I want you guys to go ahead and down in the comments and let me know how long you think it'll take me to complete this challenge. And you know what I'm gonna do? Everyone who comments, I am going to record. Uh, I'm gonna write down what everyone guessed would be my end date or honestly end year for finishing this challenge. And whoever is right, you're getting a prize. I will find out, I will figure something out to give you if you get that correct, or whoever is the closest. <laughs> That's just how long I think this is gonna take, but who knows, maybe I'll win the lottery and I'll be able to stuff it a lot sooner than, than a few years from now. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little, maybe it won't be that long. Um, and then I just tried to, in the video, I just tried to see where, where that extra envelope came from, but I just, couldn't be bothered to count through them all, so if you guys can look for me, that would be great. All right, so now I am grabbing that miscellaneous savings envelope, that pesky little savings envelope that has been a pain in my butt, and I am just gonna count through, and I end up having, like I said, $199, and I was able to stuff five envelopes, thank goodness. Um. I suppose I should mention I don't have any other savings challenges going on right now because we're just putting so much towards our loans and our debt. And uh, there I am picking out my very first envelope. I decided to go for big old number 100, get that out of the way. Um, I will probably try and go for the larger numbers first, but I'm just not sure how feasible that is. But as I was saying, I don't have any other savings challenges going on. And so this one, you know, it's gonna take precedence. Sorry you saw my head again. <laughs> uh, I didn't have my hair done the day I did this. I It was a, a lazy day, so sorry you had to see that. Uh, and then I think the next envelope I went for was the $50 envelope. A little halfway point. And then the very next one I go for is actually the $1 envelope. And looking back, I think I should have saved the $1 envelope for a really uh, a week where my budget was really thin because I'm probably gonna be regretting it, regretting it a little bit later that I did the one dollar but I guess you never know so the last three envelopes uh, or last two envelopes that I stuff I'm gonna spoil it for you is the $20 envelope and then the $28 um, sorry to spoil it but the video is just about over I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in I really appreciate each and every subscriber each and every viewer you guys mean a lot to me you're keeping me motivated and I will see you guys in my next video uh, and I really hope you enjoyed watching this go ahead and leave a comment when I'm gonna finish this challenge um, subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one have a great day